Hi guys, good morning. It's Angela here, back again for another Way in Wednesday. Ugh, this was a tough one, you guys. And I struggled at first, but let's just get into it. I gained 0.8 pounds. So last week I was at 211.6 pounds, and this week I'm 212.2. Um, I have to be honest, when I got on that scale and saw the number, I was a little bit defeated because I had stuck to my calories, I had exercised five days, and I got a little frustrated. But then I had to remind myself that women have those fluctuations, and it was that time of the month for me, so I was definitely having that fluctuation going on. And last week I had a huge weight loss of over five pounds. So, um... I had to take those into consideration. So then I just thought, okay, I have a number. I need to go from there. So I went and me measured my arms and my chest and my waist and hips and thighs and calves. And you guys, it just made me so excited and so happy because on my measurements, I actually lost 6.8 inches. Sorry, I have it written down to the side over here. That's why I'm looking to the side. But I actually lost 6.8 inches off of my body. So I know it's working. I know something's happening. And I know I probably have a lot of retained um, water. But either way, I'm still going to keep on keeping on. This doesn't stop me. We're going to keep going and keep, uh, keep on this journey of weight loss and just getting healthy all together. Um, so I just wanted to talk a little bit about last week and what I did with, um, first of all, with work. As you guys know, I work the night shift and I ended up having my break at about three in the morning and I did end up having hummus and pita chips. I will say I don't think that was a big enough big enough snack because I just had one serving of each of the hummus and the pita chips. I think it was like 17 pita chips and um, I want to say two tablespoons of hummus. And by the end of that shift, which I get out of work around 7.30 in the morning, and I think that morning I actually got home around 9 in the morning. It was a busy, busy shift. Um, and I was starving. I was just so hungry. I had to kind of talk myself through, don't go crazy. Don't eat a ton, Ange. Just eat healthy. Um, so when I came home, I almost, I was so close. I was this close to being like, I'm going to stop through a drive through and just pick up a, a breakfast sandwich. And I thought, nope, I can't do it. So I went home and I made myself breakfast. I made myself some turkey bacon. Um, I think I had a couple of scrambled eggs and a piece of toast and I stuck to it. Once I ate that, I felt better and I wasn't so ravenous, um, just wanting anything to eat. And so at that point, I was able to kind of calm down and just, um, just get ready to go to sleep. I don't eat lunch that next day because I'm asleep during that time. So I didn't have lunch that next day and then I had a I think when I woke up I had just a bunch of carrots broccoli celery and some ranch dip just to kind of hold me over until dinner and then I had my dinner and I was able to stick to my calories that day and I was actually really proud of myself um, but one thing I'm going to change is I need a bigger snack than just the pita chips and the hummus I did take an apple but I didn't eat it I probably should have ate it. That would have helped and it would have been good for me. <laughs> but next time I'll just take a little bit more um, and eat my apple. So that's what happened with my work shift. Um, last week my workouts on the treadmill, I changed it to week two and it was walk for two minutes, jog for a minute, and then walk for two minutes. So it's instead of the three minute walk, it's a two minute walk and then I would jog for the one minute. And I did that for 20 minutes. And I usually stay on the treadmill maybe five or 10 minutes more just to cool down or just because it feels good, just moving. Um, 
but I did that. And I will tell you, on my fitness pal, they have a point where you can add the exercise you're doing and put in the calories you've burned, and they'll add it to the amount of calories you can have for the day, and then, um, and then you can eat a little bit more. But at this point, I'm not doing that. I'm just sticking to 1,700 calories or less. So I'm documenting what I'm, the exercise that I'm doing, but I'm not really putting it in to add additional calories to what I can eat for the day. Um, I'm going to hold off on doing that. I will probably do that when I get to a point of maintenance, but at this point for weight loss and the amount of exercise I'm doing, it's not a ton of exercise. I do 30 minutes to about 45 or 50 minutes of exercise, and it's at this point, it's not super strenuous exercise. It's just getting me moving. So I'm not going to add those calories, and I'm just going to stick to my 1,700 calories for right now. Um, so I also had some obstacles in that I live with five men, my husband and my four sons, and they're all young adults, 18 to 23. And let me tell you, they can eat. <laughs> So whenever I don't cook, or if I'm not home, or if they don't like what I'm eat, or what I'm making for dinner, um, they buy out. They love pizza. They love burgers and fries. They love to go have steak. Um, I mean, they and they eat a lot of it, and it's always here. It's always on my counter or around me. Fast food all the time. They're all at McDonald's. Is always here. And that is going to be one of the biggest hurdles that I'm going to need to um, overcome. I was able to stay strong and just be like, no, I don't want any pizza. I don't want any of what you have there. Um, but I know that I'm going to come to points where I'm going to want some. And um, so I'm trying to make a, a plan ahead of time to kind of battle that. First of all, I'm letting them all know that I'm doing this. They all know that I'm trying to lose weight and get healthy. Um, and they are encouraging and they want me to do it, but they're still bringing the food into the house. So my idea is, sadly, because I like to have dinner all together, but at this point, I need to walk away. So when they're eating that, um, I'm going to take Indy for a walk or go in another room or come upstairs and read my Bible or just do something to get me away from the smell of that food and um, just being tempted by that food. I don't want to get sucked into eating that. That's what got me here in the first place, I believe. If, you know, if I'm 5'4 and female and I'm eating the same as a 17, 18 year old teenager, male, believe me, you gain weight quick. Um, so that's what my plan is anyways for that obstacle is to just walk away, not have it. Another obstacle we face here is we eat out a lot. Um, just with our busy schedules and everybody every which way, we eat at restaurants a lot and um, or fast food. But the fast food I'm trying not to have at all. I don't think it's something I should be having at this point, just being so new in this journey. Um, and my strength isn't that strong yet. <laughs> and then, um, but restaurants, we are still going to restaurants. So I'm trying to make really smart choices um, by getting a salad or having my salad dressing on the side. Um, I We went to a place called Corky's and I got a vegetable soup and a salad for my dinner. And that held me over and it was delicious. And it wasn't as bad as the giant burgers or the big giant uh, chicken pot pies that my family ordered or anything like that. So those are obstacles I'm gonna have to overcome because this is a family that I love and live with and they like to eat out and they're hungry. They're, they're big men and they like to eat a lot. And I'm trying to encourage them to lean towards healthier foods and to when I make dinner to eat what I make. Um, but sometimes they just aren't interested at all, and I can't force my journey onto them. So I have to fa find a way to overcome those obstacles. And so I'm working on it. That's what I'm planning on doing this week anyways. For anything they bring into the house, I'm just going to walk away and, um, and not eat it. But So that's it for this week, you guys. I had a .6 gain 
in weight. Um, but I'm not going to let that get me down. I'm just going to keep on keeping on. I'm going to increase my workouts this week because it's been two weeks and it's time to increase it a little more. I'll let you know what I'm doing on the next video. Um, and just stick to eating healthy, making smarter choices, sticking in my calorie range of 1,700 calories, and just get moving. So hopefully my journey will encourage some of my family members to get healthy and to join me on this journey. But otherwise, if you guys are on this journey with me, you can do it. Stay strong. Make a plan, especially for the obstacles that are in your way. Um, people don't mean to do that. They're just hungry and they want to eat something and they want to eat something quick. And they're not really thinking, oh, that person's dieting. So, um, so just make a plan of how you're going to handle that, what you're going to do if you're at a restaurant, if someone's eating fast food in front of you and offering you some. You can do it, you guys. If I can do it, if I'm going to try and do it and just trying to find my way through this, you can do it. And let's cheer each other on. Um, comment down below. Let me know what you guys do when you get tempted or when your family's offering food to you that you know you probably shouldn't have at this point. Um, let me know what you do. Um, and then if you can share my videos with others, subscribe and press the little bell and you'll get notifications when my videos come up. But otherwise, you guys, thanks for hanging in there and just watching this video. May God bless you today and bless you on your journey for this next week. Um, you can do it, you guys. Just find that balance and um, try to find that way to be healthy, um, for not only for yourself, but for your loved ones and those around you. Um, God bless you. Have a great day.